Okay, so we got called out to this yard because it's got this obvious kind of yellowing of the Bermuda grass. Now it's really green in, you know, deep in, in the uh, grass, but the tips of the, of the leaf blades are, are really yellow. When I first came up, I wasn't exactly sure what was wrong because I wasn't finding uh, any reasoning behind it. As I, you know, really started digging and started pulling up some of these plants, I found what we call a witch's broom, um, which is an effect. It's a plant growth re regulation effect uh, on the Bermuda grass plant that's actually caused by Bermuda grass stunt mite. Uh, Bermuda grass stunt mite is, is very small. You can't uh, see it with, typically without a you know, magnification. Uh, but what it does, it gets down the leaf sheath of the plant, it feeds on the plant and it injects a chemical that causes a plant growth regulation effect. Um, now the secondary effect is, is the coloring. Now this yard's mowed really short, so it's hard to find these. Um, you literally have to dig up a stolen and look at the end of the plant to actually see what we call the witch's broom. Um, it's not really hard to kill. The last few years, uh, we've seen a lot more of these mites. Uh, typically, if you're on our pest and grub control, we've seen pretty good results from that, either reduced uh, effects from the Bermuda grass stunt mite or reduced length of, of time that you see this. Um, so they'll, they'll kind of come in quick, they'll cause a little bit of discoloration and, and then die off and your lawn will re return to its normal green color. Uh, but definitely, if, if you see something like this, um, it, it could be something like Bermuda grass stunt mite, especially if you find the witch's broom. Um, not really a home remedy for it or anything. We just need to make sure we're on a pest and grub control program. That will definitely help reduce uh, the effects that we're seeing here in this yard.